Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I'd like to say, call her law, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim Rakakwadash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Also, would like to say peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect, the Akim, who's pushing his word in all sincerity and faith throughout the four corners of the earth. For the few sincere sisters, the Akwa, who listen and believe, Shalom to you as well. Shalom to all of the new fruit, the new viewership, the new uh, believers coming into this faith. Uh, just back with another lesson, and uh, I just wanted to just encourage brothers that as we come down the 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 the, the pike uh, to Satan coming with great wrath, the, the hour of Jacob's trouble, you know we're gonna have to have a high level of trust and faith in in, in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, because that's our only sole source of strength. We of ourselves, we don't have any strength in this place, you know. We're made strong. You know, our weakness is made strong through the most high strength in his son, Yahweh Bashem, or in his son, Yahweh Shah. So, of course, the scripture says, pray without ceasing. There's a lot of different things that we can do to strengthen our connection with our power in these latter days, man. Being around the body, you know, reading the scripture, studying, you know, whatever it, it takes just to keep your, 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 your strength and your faith at the level that it needs to be so you can complete your course. So I'm going to start off here in 2 Corinthians 4 and 16. It says, for this, for which cause we faint not, but though our our, in, our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. So, man, it, you know, we in these bodies of death, we're in this flesh. It seems like, you know, as we age especially, it seems like your body breaks down. Some brothers may have ailments and just different things they have to deal with, you know, so though the outward man perish, especially at the state that we're in because sin has been introduced into the earth and the wages of sin is death. So the state of man is pretty much on, on a physical level is just diminishing day for day, you know. But the outward man perishes, but it says yet the inward man is renewed day by day. And that's talking about a men of faith, the men of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. You know, through our different obstacles and, and adversity, you know, that renews our strength. That renews our trust in the Lord, okay? So our, our inward man, you know, is renewed day by day. Seeing the prophecies come to pass, man, the things that the Most High spake of four times, that's how we renew our strength day by day. It says, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for Salakia, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. So the things that we're going through right now, man, this is just a light affliction. It ain't going to be able to compare to the kingdom of heaven where we're going to be have a mortality, man. It ain't going to be no such thing as death, even though we know through the spirit that there's no such thing as death now. You know, when you so-called leave the earth, your, your, your body, your flesh goes to the earth, and your spirit goes back to the heavenly father that gave it. But in the kingdom of heaven, man, we're going to actually get to live out a full life. And the life that we're living here, the struggles, the the the, the you know the adversities, the the, the 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 sorrow that we go through here is not going to be able to compare, uh, compare to an everlasting kingdom of joy and happiness and righteousness. But we're gonna have to fight to the finish, you know. We're gonna have to fight for the. We're gonna have to contend for the faith. It's gonna be a fight, man. You know, we're 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 up against. It, what it seems insurmountable odds. So our faith is going to have to be at a high level, you know, and I know that's easier said than done, but if you feel that your faith is weaker, you know, prayer, that's one of our, our main weapons, you know, we can use to get greater access to the strength that we need, you know. But just going to the, the next scripture, Isaiah 40 and 31, it says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. So that's what we're doing, you know, wait upon me, like the scripture says in uh, Zephaniah, the third chapter, wait ye upon me. So we can't try to take matters in our own hand to overthrow Esau, Edom, our wicked enemy, okay, to try to set our people back in order, to set our women in order of our nation, you know. We're going to ultimately have to wait on the Lord to set things back in order. And wait, that basically means like a waiter. In the, in the time frame, in this grace that we're in, we have to serve the Lord, man. Okay? 
But it says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. So those that wait upon the Lord, it's clear right here, it says, shall renew their strength. The inward man is renewed day by day. Us going through that process of serving the Lord, making our bodies a living sacrifice, going through all of these, you know, different obstacles and adversities, being proven as a fine gold in the furnace of that adversity, our character level is, is elevating. Our strength is being renewed, you know. It says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not, Salakia, and they shall walk and not faint. So the scripture says, be not weary and, and well-doing. So at the time that we're in right now, of course, brothers, we go through all of these different, you know, uh, uh, emotions in the flesh, depression, you know, anxiety, just all of these different things that drive your spirit one way or the other. But as far as the ministry is concerned and doing the things that we know is in our best interest to do for salvation, man, we can't grow faint in those things. Matter of fact, matter of fact, it was another scripture. Oh, yeah, I know where it's at. It's in Proverbs. We find this real quick. I can bear with me. Because we come, the Lord has brought us way too far for brothers just to give up, you know, at the, at the, in the fourth quarter, so to speak, you know. Like you're just going to quit the game and you got the ball at the goal line pretty much, you know. The Lord has showed us way too much. A lot is happening in the earth as we know it right now. We're in a time of major prophecy coming to pass. All the things that, uh, starting with our elders and apostles, have been saying, you know, for 30-plus, 20-plus years, man, these things are coming to pass in, in perfection in our lifetime, man, you know. So we got a lot to, to look ahead to, man, you know, just to give us hope when things are not going so well, you know, through your day to day, so to speak. But this is uh, Proverbs 24 and 10. It says, If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. So, right now, it's not the time to become faint. It's not the time to become weak. Of course, we all go through periods of weakness, but you have to examine it and, and, and try to find the strength to pick yourself up. You know? Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. Okay? So the Lord is looking for someone who is going to at least put up a, a valiant effort, man, you know, to try to uh, go up, uh, to forsake the things that the enemies that are going to kind of uh, try to tempt us with. The Lord is looking for someone who's going to at least, you know, apply effort, going to put up a fight, you know, even uh, uh, when you're tired. Because as boxing, you know, some of those championship rounds and the 12th rounds, that's the hardest time to fight. When you're just tired, your body's been all beat up, you know, especially if it's been a pretty uh, close fight. But we're going to we end them championship rounds, so to speak, you know. But uh, I'll read this in the NLT, actually. Proverbs 24 and 10 in the NLT, it says, If you fail under pressure, your strength is too small. So right now we're in a pressure situation, man. The Most High is putting us in the pressure cooker. And we got examples of our forefathers, you know, the things that were written aforetime were written for our learning. So there's countless examples of our ancient forefathers who stood stiffly when they were against uh, insurmountable pressure, you know, to where they have to rise to the occasion, so to speak. But we understand ultimately that the Most High, he's going to lift up a standard, okay, but we at least got to uh, put in our own fight, you know. We got to give the Lord reason to want to fight for us, you know. So with all being said, I just want to put up a quick lesson. Lord willing to certify I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, peace and blessings to the elect.